Hi and welcome to my guide on Camping Supreme for Ironman. Right away, yes, you will need a high leveled alt for this method, minimum 75 combats and a Dins Bulwark. So after getting my Berserker Ring, I searched for and asked around about a Supreme camping method. I didn't find anything, but ended up coming up with this method on my own. If I stole your method, I'm sorry, I just couldn't find it anywhere, so that's actually why I wanted to post this to help other early game Ironmans, like myself, get their ring. So the big problem with Camping Supreme is that is Prime, but Prime actually has a very small aggression range, so you can lure it away on an alt. So on your alt, you're gonna kill Supreme one time and then lure Rex to the safe spot and pray mage against Prime. Then on the Iron Man, you can safely camp Supreme. I was able to get 60 kills a trip and 30 kills an hour with this method. I'll be doing this on all of my Dagonoth tasks until I get the ring, and then I will be finished with DKs. So I hope this helps someone get their archer's ring, and hope you enjoy the guide. Alright, this is my Iron Man's gear. I like to bring strength bonus, and I do like to flick piety and pro range, so I can have uh, the damage boost, the defense boost, and uh, Supreme will never hit me because I'm praying protect from range. Uh, you could also bring Proselyte and just camp Prey range. Uh, that would probably work as well. Um, don't forget your Tele out for emergencies. Uh, bring your super anti-poison and your prayer pots. Uh, you could bring some telegrabs as well in case you need them. I would also highly recommend doing this on task. So the Black Mask and the Piety stack and you get like a 50% damage boost. So like instead of hitting 30s you're hitting 45s. It's pretty ridiculous. So this is what I bring on my tank. Um, if you don't have Justice Share, you can easily downgrade that to uh, Barrows or Prostolate. I'd probably recommend Barrack Helm and Skirt and then Prostolate Plate Body. Um, you want a Din's Bulwark, uh, Stamina Potion for getting there, uh, Antidote Plus Plus, Serdom and Brew. You want your uh, Rune Throne Axe and Prayer Pots. Um, and then you want to bring a, a Whip or something to kill Supreme one time. Okay, so the rest of the video is just going to be showing you the setup. Um, this clip right here, I'm just showing my NPC aggression has expired. So upstairs is totally safe, which makes this method really nice. You can just go up the ladder and uh, wait for it to spawn. You won't take any damage between kills. It actually makes it better than Rex in some ways. So another thing to keep in mind is they'll drop food. They'll drop five sharks as a one in 25 drop. So that'll really help extend your trips. So I think the next clip here is gonna show the setup on the main. It's basically the same as uh, when you're starting out a DK's like trio, where you're killing all three of them. You go up and down the ladder until Rex is far away. Um, you pray mage, so because prime max is like 50, I think. Um, and then supreme only max is like 25. So, okay, Rex is too close here, so I'm going to go back up the ladder. Um, and then I just wait like a minute, and then I'll go back down. This is exactly the same as if you've ever done DKs, where you go in and you kill all three in a rotation. It's exactly the same starting. We just need to kill Supreme once, so we can get Rex into the safe spot. Alright, same thing, I'm going down. Um, he's too close, so go back up, wait another minute. Um, you can see my irons just sitting there in the bottom left, just waiting, um, getting his run energy back and regaining some health. This one looks promising. Rex is a little close. Okay, he's walking away, so I think we're good here. Um, so I just solo Supreme. And this is the hardest part of the method, is getting it set up, which is why I'm spending more time on this part. I think the rest of the video is like six minutes, if I remember right, but it's important. This is the important part. All right, so I got Rex on me. Um, oh, one mistake I made was I only brought Bruise, 
So that's that's why I'm not eating here. If I eat the brew, it lowers my combats. So bring bring a couple angler fish when you do this. So yeah, I killed Supreme, and now I'm bringing Rex up north. Um, one thing you can notice is uh, Prime has a huge attack range. Um, his aggro range is low, but his attack range is huge. Like he's hitting me across the map right now. So yeah, then bring him up north. Right now I'm, I'm more trying to get Prime farther up north so he won't be able to see my iron when he comes in. But that's that's the best I can do. Um, so uh, yeah. So now my main's in place. Praying mage. I'm gonna put the bulwark on. Heal up, get comfortable. Make sure your bulwark is on block so you get the uh, damage reduction. And now it's time to go in with the iron. It's not safe yet. I'm gonna pray mage on this first kill, just in case Prime can hit me. And okay, I'm attacking Supreme. Prime can't see me, so I'm safe for now. So I switch over to pray range. Um, if Prime attacks you, you wanna go up that ladder and then wait for Supreme to be closer. I got lucky this time. Supreme was close. And you just finish this kill. Yeah, I'm playing it safe right now. I'm not flicking piety or anything. I'm just camping prey range, ready to eat some strawberries if I have to. Um, you don't usually take this much damage from those things on the outside. I'm getting pretty unlucky here. Okay, so when I pick up this drop, you'll see Prime can attack me. So pray mage, Prime's gonna attack you, and then you're gonna climb up the ladder. Now, um, now put your iron in the safe spot because you haven't lost aggression yet, and then heal up and just uh, stay calm, heal up. And then now look at the bottom right um, for my main. So Prime is not attacking my main right now. I need to relure Prime but I'm gonna wait until he comes close by. When he's on the uh, the eastern half of the map, then you can grab his aggro and then uh, relure Rex into the safe spot. So you can sort of imagine like in the middle of the island, if uh, Prime is on the eastern side from the middle, from the midline, then you're, you're good. Um, so now uh, Prime's in, in the spot, um, I can continue killing. I, at this point, I still don't know if uh, when I go to pick up my drop, if Prime can see me. So you'll see I'm gonna pray mage again this time. And if, uh, if Prime can't see me when I get my drop, then I'm in the clear. I can I can camp here for the rest of my Slayer task and hopefully get an Archer's Ring. So you'll see I'm, I'm still gonna be very cautious when I go to pick up my drop. I'm gonna pray mage and I'm gonna be ready to run. If I knew the uh, attack range, I could count the tiles, but I, I don't actually know it. Yep, so I'm good. Now I'm, I'm ready to camp here. I still haven't lost aggression, so I'm praying mage. And I'm gonna go to the safe spot. Wait for the next kill. Okay, yeah, in, uh, in this clip, I'm just showing that you can telegrab the drops if you have to, or if you would prefer to. All right, so that's it for this guide. I hope you don't go dry for your archer ring, and uh, I hope this helped. Real quick, just wanted to mention, please let me know if I missed anything in the comments. I'm, I don't PVN much. I think my iron has more DK's kills than my main does now. So 
Also, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. I'm usually good about answering those. So yeah, thanks for watching.